Welcome back. You're still tuned into Power Breakfast. There's lots going on in the world of commodities as well. So let's get you an update there. Manisha joins us. Manisha, it's really a lot about the energy space today. Oh, well, absolutely. The first uh, full trading session of 2023 has led the energy pack totally on the lower side here. We've seen the crude oil prices decline 4% overnight, and that has brought it off its one-month highs. The heating oil prices fell 5%. Natural gas prices fell 10% overnight. It has to do with the IMF warning that 2023 will be a tough year for growth in China, European Union, and U.S. I mean, these are the major consumers, really. And then the Chinese PMI data contracted for a fifth straight month in the month of December. We also are looking at the U.S. crude output expected to increase by 0.6 million barrels per day in 2023. So whichever way that you see, the supply is not a concern, but demand becoming a big question mark, and that pulled the prices down. And that's exactly what happened with the metal prices also. The strength in U.S. dollar, the weakness demand, uh, weak, in, weak demand expectations, and the soaring COVID cases in China and other parts of the world are putting the pressure on prices here. So we have seen copper extend its 15% decline from 2022, and the aluminum prices have now slipped below $2,400 per ton as well. Remember, we did an all-time high of 4100 in previous year as well. So almost half of that has been shaved off. So some pressure has continued for energy and these metals today. All right, some pressure on energy as well as base metals. Manisha, thanks a lot for bringing us all of those updates. With that, let's also bring you the